the point against Hearts would have done a lot for positivity going into this game, even though it was a point in the end. Yeah, um, obviously in the manner that it happened as well, getting it the last minute was something that we can uh, take confidence from. You know, um, the boys kept going all the way to the end, and I think we got what we deserved in the end. Really, um, at least a point I thought we we were worthy of, and you know we we carried on going to the end, and, and we got that. I think that's a real characteristic of this squad under Stephen Robinson that that dog the determination to go right to the end also. Yeah, um, I think we just keep keep trying doing the right things, even if we go behind, and you know it paid off paid off the other night. Uh, obviously, getting the goal in the last minute, and you know, it shows the character of the boys, which is great. There's been a lot of speculation yesterday, and this morning about Trevor Carson and whether the bid's been rejected or whatnot. How important is it that Trevor Carson remains an all player come the end of the transfer window? I think you can see from the saves he makes, um, especially at, you know important times for us. How important he is for us. So. You know, it comes at no surprise to me that you know people are watching him and and people are, you know, putting bids in for him because he's he's a fantastic goalkeeper. But um, you know, I'd like to see him stay a Motherwell player for as long as possible because he's he's that important to us. So it's a huge decision. He's got to weigh up though if, if a bid does get That's it. You know, I think you know that's that's for Trevor to decide. You know, I can't really comment on that. But um, like I said previously, it's, it's no surprise that. You know, big big clubs are looking at him, and and you know it just goes goes to show how well he's doing. Is this the nightmare scenario though? That if you were to lose your, your goalkeeper a couple of days before the transfer window, Stephen will have to be then sort of scrambling about trying to get a replacement in. That's a that's a question you will have to ask the manager. I can't really answer that, but um, obviously if we were to lose him, it'd be it'd be difficult to deal with. But um, until that happens, he's he's a mother well player, and you know I'm I'm happy that he's he's still here. So. Long may that continue. Does it feel like that Hamilton's victory a couple of weeks ago has, has been a bit of a turning point after what was a, a, sort of a poor run for you guys? I think so. I think the break did, did us good. Um, you know, we went away, um, we came back, and and almost away, it's probably good that we played Hamilton straight, you know, back to back, um, because we knew that we, we kind of owed them one and it would get our, you know, <clears throat> our winning, you know, winning mentality back if we beat them. and we went on to win the next game and then obviously get a draw. So um, if you can keep that up, you know, picking up points, that's that's our main objective. And you know, hopefully that runs well and truly behind, doesn't it? Would you make a Hibs performances this I think they're a good team, a very good team. Um, they've got a lot of pace and a lot of you know players that can make things happen. But um, you know, I enjoy going there, enjoy playing against them because you know they're a big club, they're a big big team to play against, and I'm looking forward to it.